Word, Damn. word, hey, shout out to our brother on beat music for the Damn. production behind that. Fire. <laughs> you guys don't know music. on beat music, producer, DJ, drummer, in house producer for RMG Music, also the host for Critique Fr Fridays for Rapzilla. So, mad love to you, brother. Welcome to Mario Esco Live. I'm Appreciate your host, you, bro. Mario Esco. Alongside me is my good friend and co host, Gil Vargas. What, what up, bro? What up, what up? Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey. Shoot it. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. We have a special guest coming in with us today. Yes, sir. Um, and I'll announce him. You know how we do, man. We don't be. <laughs> when they jump in, they jump in. You know how we do. Uh, when you come, you come. Join the email list, share the show, leave a review. Thank you for those who already have. Uh, hit check the out subscribe button if you're watching. Hit the subscribe button. Word. What is it on this side, right? It's over here. No. It's over No, I think it's right here. I think I put it over here. I got to <laughs> I got to Joseph, can you, uh, you got the slack, right? It's, is it here? It's never it's here. It's one of these. There. Hey, pick one of these right here. Pick just, <laughs> just press one. <laughs> uh, check out the website. <laughs> Uh, d2lproductions.com check out our merch quick update we we switched over for those that follow the podcast itself uh there, were, there was probably a, a brief little hiccup because we switched over to Podbean. yeah we're still available on all podcast apps and stuff like that but eventually we're going to be off soundcloud so to those who follow me on soundcloud Please be sure Start to find us on. either on Podbean or search through your whatever podcast app that you're using. We're also mm. on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, so check us out there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's working right now or not, but we are supposed to supposedly we're live streaming right now to Twitch. We're oh today is the official. Uh, uh, are we officially on Twitch? I think so. I I gotta. <laughs> I think so. I gotta check that. that it <laughs> just, just adds on to the professionalism of just our show. <laughs> We're on Twitch. But are we really? I here, think so. here's the thing. Here's the thing. So either way, <laughs> either way, the mm. idea with the Twitch account is and, and we're still trying to figure this out. Yeah. yeah. But we wanna be able to do like a a gaming segment. A gaming, not even like a gaming segment, but like yeah. our own a separate feed, a separate day, yeah, a separate experience with a brother of ours. Shout out to Intox Illusion. Yep, uh, hand yep. claps for you, brother. We love you. Who's always actually, he's actually been desiring to do like a podcast for years now. I know. The dude has been hinting at it. Which is crazy. <laughs> and then we just take off with a podcast. Like, hey, what's up? Yo, we got this great idea, we Josh. Were, We're going to start yo, a podcast. We were always like, nah, we don't want to do a podcast. Nah, that's a <laughs> That's corny, bro. But anyway, we're trying to figure out a way to uh, collaborate and, and do that. Shout out to our partners. Hand claps. I want to do the big hand class for, for my partners, man. The big one. The hey, yo, one that hand class to our partners. These are the our network. I'm learning the words. I'm learning the words. So a lot of people will be like, it's not really partners. It's network. It's a, you know, yeah, yeah it's a network. We love each other. We support one another. Yep. Uh, we want to build awareness to each other. Matter of fact, shout out to God Over Porn GOP. They have a Bible study, study journal. This is not like a sponsored ad or anything like that. It's just something I came across and I want to do mm. better at serving our partners. 
So I left the link up there for those interested. They have a, a Bible study journal, 235 pages, 12 bucks on Amazon. You can check it out. Okay. It's broken up to four different sections. You have one that uh, where you can add the verses that you're reading through. Another one where you can add like the theological truths found in your daily reading. You also have another page divided into two columns, which allow you to write out complete verses. In the other column, you can write your own commentary, your own notes. And then uh, the last section is, you know, what you learned and how do you apply that? So shout out to them. Go check that out. Um, and it's, it's helpful, man, when you're studying and writing and taking notes. It's very helpful. It is. You know? and, and sometimes you forget about the notes, too. And every now and then, like, I'll go back to, to a notebook that I had and I'll read my old notes. And I'm like, yeah. ooh, this one is spicy. Mm. What? Then you spicy. Kinda, yeah, what kind of, you kinda like what kind of when, notes are you taking, brother? You're like, when it come, like, you're like in the middle of a service and you're writing yo, spicy I'm, notes, bro. Like when it cuts through your soul, you're bro. Letters to your wife, like, during, during, <laughs> well, during, if we're reading Song of Solomon. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Is this appropriate? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm talking about like when it really speaks to your soul, right. and you like read it, yeah. and it's like a moment in your life where you were struggling with something. And what the word Joel? Just, the what word up, just brother? slaps you. Mm. It was one of those moments. It's you go back to it, and you're like, "Ooh, <laughs> that's spicy, man. Ooh, that's, that's that's really cutting through the the fibers of mm. the soul." I don't know. Maybe I'm alone on that. No, no, no. It's straight. Uh, <laughs> it's straight, man. You by yourself. That's cool. it's Recap. Cool. <laughs> you completely by yourself. Last man. episode. It's not the Rona. It's not the Rona. We had special guest Samantha White Ooh, in the building. The Rona. We went, we shared two of her music videos, Let Me Go, Friendship Goes. We also shared a featured track by Nameless Servant, Panic. Uh, she, Samantha White also dropped some gems, man. Yes. Fire gems about creative tips during quarantine. And she shared just where she gets her inspiration from and whatnot. So, yeah. That was a dope episode, man. Yeah, it was fire. She's uh she, she I love the vibes that she brings on the tracks, man. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in anything like that, what else do we talk about? Is that all we talked about? Uh quarantine, a little bit about quarantine. Are we talking about like streaming industry the, the streaming industry, how it's shifted and everything's changing during this time? Every yep. how you, know. you can utilize it as an artist. Yeah. So yep. yeah, if you're interested in anything like that, go Definitely check out the check last out. the last episode. And if you want to be reminded of our episodes, and hit the bell. We're actually gonna <laughs> we're actually gonna jump into a skit real real quick. This is outdoor session. This is a new one. Shout out Ooh. to Manny Rivera, my brother. Fresh off the press. Fresh off the press. This is a brand new 2020 skit outdoor session. Myself, Manny Rivera, and my fam, my little daughter. I love you. Yo. Yo. What's going on, man? Yo. I got a five verse. I got to lay down, man. You think I can record it over there? Yeah, man. I mean, I got the kids with me, but come through. All right. You got sure it's not going to be a problem? We can't reschedule with anything like that, right? Nah, we'll make it work, bro. Come through. Come through. All right. Say less. Bro, you sure this is going to work? Yeah, man. Trust me. It's already recorded. It's on you, brother. Whenever you're ready. Oh. Ooh. This thing is not even powered on. Dude, this thing is not even powered on right now, bro. Hello? Hello, boots? Hello, boots? <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Leave it like that. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You're going to get $5. That's an easy <laughs> five bucks, right? <laughs> bribed your dog <laughs> yo I had I'll to get you those five dollars I can use five dollars I had to uh, do my thing brother you know uh, See, you my went son, to your daughter was like would you want to be in this skit nah I'm all yo, set my son bailed on, on me last nah, minute I'm good like, five, five, five dollars okay <laughs> what am I supposed to do bro my son bailed on me last minute it's like That's yo crazy. you ready you ready I, I try to gas him up you ready let's go <laughs> That's crazy. He's like, last minute, like, nah, I don't want to do it. Like, I what? Don't, I don't want it. I can't discipline it. What am I, what am I, <laughs> you know what? You're going to do you it and you're going to like it. Enough is enough. This is not. I'm not going to tolerate this <laughs> disobedience. Not being in a skit. <laughs> what do you think raised you? Oh, man. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm over here sharing crazy. this show right now. 
Um, Ooh, share the show. So, Gil, what's up, man? What's popping, man? You practicing social distancing or what? Yeah, man. You're I mean, six, are you six feet? We didn't point, take we didn't take, let take let the rule out. out. Like, I mean, we, point, we're gonna have to set this up like Walgreens yo, with is, like little nah, squares. No, nah, real talk, bro. Like, <laughs> real talk. No, I'm saying, like, yo, how, how's the week? How's the week going, bro? I, like, is it still weird? For it's you? It's crazy, like, still, man. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to be in this position, you know, where I'm still able to work. But it's crazy out there, bro. Like, it's just, it's ghost town. Like, it's weird being on the road and seeing nobody. Yo. Yo, brother, you in here? Yo, what's good? Can y'all hear me? I hear you. Yo. I hear you, brother. You hear us? Yeah, man. Sound perfect. All right. Don't, don't, don't. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me give a, let me give a proper introduction of our special <laughs> guest. I'm trying to do better at this, man. And like, every time I do this, I get think I'm bag. getting get better. Get in your bag. Better. Let me get, let me get in my bag real quick. I'm going to do the... The loud hand claps, none of y'all. Uh, uh, <laughs> the loud brother, you claps. can't hear that, but our audience is hearing it right now. There's like a army behind this introduction right now. Like there's hundreds, it's, it's angelic hundreds angels of hand claps, right? Now. <laughs> flapping their wings at once, ladies and, and gentlemen. Listen. President of Rapture Ready Productions, North Christian hip hop artist, minister, entrepreneur, also hosts his own live show. BRM is in the building. What's up, yo, brother, yo, man? Yo. What's going on, brother? Man, that was a great introduction. Appreciate y'all having me on, man. This, this is going to be fun. I've been watching y'all. I love what y'all doing. Uh, let's go. I love it. Let's go. Dope, here. dope, Thanks man. I, I, think it was, I think it was overdue, brother, to be <laughs> honest, man. I, I've been seeing you do your thing for a minute, and you've been engaging back and forth with my no stuff. Doubt. And um, it's, it's almost like you came from me, at least. Like, I don't know if... Did you, like, just all of a sudden recently just started going hard like or because you just came in my radar and i was like yo this dude is literally everywhere right now like what did you make a shift or something or, or did you just decide yo i'm gonna go heavy like in this last few years man good uh yeah you know what a little bit of a little bit of everything there i guess um you know about six about seven to eight years ago uh basically i started a relationship with god and started doing christian hip-hop um, mm -hmm. i always done music um, but I didn't really start going hard till about four years ago. Um, it just, you know, just kind of felt like I found my sound a little bit. And, um, you know, sometimes that's what it takes for artists, I guess, is to kind of find your own sound. Um, and it took me a while. Um, I'm kind of an old dog, um, but uh, it, it took me a bit. And uh, I kind of felt like I'm in something I'm pretty comfortable with right now. Mm. Uh, just made a lot of great relationships with different people, uh, with Jeremy over there at Rapture Ready Productions. and. Um, just started building relationships with people um, and just having fun with it. Um, I, really, for me, it's always been about just having fun with music. I um, mean, everything else has kind of spread from that. I uh, get a chance to do ministry with people and uh, build actual relationships. So I, if, you, if you've seen me, I guess that's how it's kind of rolled out. Um, now, you know, now when you yeah. were building those relationships, was, was it in your mind like, I'm going to build these relationships for a strategy or was it in your mind? Like, <laughs> yo, I want to, I want to actually like, cause I, I see you building relationships, but brother, like I could tell that the people that know you personally speak very highly of you. Yeah, no, appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, you can't, you can't have a, 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 a big relationship with a, everybody, you know, you, you, you know, your circle usually should be probably kind of small with those people who you could go to and you trust and you, uh, you know, uh, you know, could talk to and speak yeah. into each other's lives and that kind of stuff. Um, but man, I, I honestly really do try to reach out to people and, I and talk you. to people because really in, in my Christian walk, when, when I got saved in 2005, I didn't surround myself with no, nobody who was going to help me uh, with, the, with this walk. So, I mean, in my mm. last seven years, I've surrounded myself with people who are going to help me because I need it. I Yo, and to it. speak on that too, like a lot yeah. of people think it's, like it's something <clears throat> different than anything else like like oh you're gonna hang out with those christians all the time it's like dude if you're into fitness who do you hang out with right people who are right. into fitness like-minded individuals it's all about yeah. like-minded individuals right. like you know what i mean like if you want to be closer to god then you should be around people who are closer to god and therefore Absolutely. it'll build your habits you'll rub off on them and that's how you grow as an individual you know so that's no, that's no really dope a lot of people don't think that way no and you know it's crazy too because you know you're talking about trying to build relationships for strategy and stuff like that. I mean, any, any artist is out there trying to look for, you know, somebody to listen to their music. Mm, uh, mm. But, but while you build a relationship, it's amazing the people like I'm, 
I wasn't going out trying to speak into people's lives per se, uh, but the amazing people who have spoken to my life. And now I've had a chance to speak into different people's lives as I've kind of gone along this journey uh, is really what's been really honestly pretty cool. Um, my, my wife is always like, man, you talk to a lot of people. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, so yeah. I'm a, you know, it's, you know, it's just crazy to get a chance to talk to all these different people sitting here chatting it up with you guys watching Thanks. the shows and, it's crazy. Now, let me let me ask you this in your experience since you've been out there and you know you know doing your thing have you noticed that there's been a change like in comparison to when you were coming up and you had all these people like pouring into you like do you feel like it's changed for the better or for the worse like for the everyday artist today like you still see mm -hmm. that same kind of like yo i want to help this artist yeah and you know what it's kind of been funny because i've had people speak into, into my life as i've kind of gone along in this, you know, little, this journey or, or whatever you want to call it. But um, now I feel like I get a chance to talk to some of these, you know, it's funny because I think some people see me and say, oh, this dude look, maybe look a little older. Like he'd been around for a long time. <laughs> I've really only been around, you know, like you said, you've only noticed me the last maybe couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and, but I've actually embraced <clears throat> it. <laughs> uh, I, some dope. of these younger, some of these younger cats, you know, yeah. or whatever they hit you up and they, oh, yo, how you yeah. feel? Hey, Mariusko, how you do that live show, man? It looks so professional. Yeah, hey, how it's you dope. Doing that show? <laughs> how, how does that, how do you do that in the video? Like my videos ain't the greatest in the world, but they have questions because they don't know how to do it. Um, yeah. yeah, so you get to talk to them. And then obviously when you're talking about music stuff, then you get the ministry part in there too. And there's always, that always just ends up, that's the way God makes it happen. Uh, you know so. what? I, I actually have that as a question myself because I checked out your YouTube channel and I saw a lot of your videos, your lives that you're doing. And, and I saw you with your little ones, your family. Mm -hmm. And it made me think, it was like, man, so how do you, how do you balance that between like your occupation uh, as an employee, as a minister as well? I kind of like lumped them up together, you know, yeah. any kind of passions or whatever, and your family as a, as a uh, husband and a father, like how do you balance those yeah, uh, that's that's always the question people ask. Uh, um, and and it, it, I think it's a work, a work in a, it's something you got to work on. Um, mm. I know when I when I kind of first started kind of really pushing this, we, uh, you know, my, you know, our wives are always pretty good about letting us know how they feel. Um, and, uh, you know, mine was just kind of, hey, we need to make sure we spend the time. And so I, I've really tried to put that uh, into place, trying to spend time at home with the kids and mm. my wife. And, and then um, I see that you include them as well. So how, 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 in, how much yeah. involved are they with, with your ministry and your music? Yeah, you know, you know, recently I just kind of got my wife, uh, kind of involved in it. My son picked up rapping. That's cool. Oh uh, yeah. I, yeah. I seen the video. Oh, oh yeah. man. I yeah. Oh, you should have gave me the heads up, man. I would have definitely played uh, that video, man. Uh, next yeah, time. And, next time we're going to do it next time for sure. That's <laughs> I caught that too. And it caught me off surprise. Uh, he came down one day. I was, I was literally in the lab writing something. He came down to the basement to dad listen to the song i went upstairs and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> well, said, so you didn't even so have an dope. idea that he was that's doing so that dope. i didn't even know he was writing it i'm, like, wow. I'm, I'm dead I true that. i had no clue he was writing it of course when i went up there i gave him a couple <laughs> tips and pointers or whatever oh, yeah yeah uh, you gotta show but him the ropes, he 80 percent man. man wrote that thing and i was just like he wrote the hook <laughs> i'm hype god's coming down you know he's already got <laughs> And he, and you know, he, he took That's some crazy. similarities from me, you know, you know, kind of stuff that I do. And I was just like, wow, he's actually, he's actually really listening to what I'm doing. Uh, you know, so that, that was dope. But yeah, trying to get my wife involved in playing in concerts in the, in the local community here with another uh, lady in the church that is big in Christian hip hop that she likes to get involved in. So I got my wife in there trying to do some of that stuff now. So yeah, we're just trying to get, you know, the more everybody feels involved, the, you know, the more everybody's kind of game to, you know, do stuff together, you know? So yeah, I've been learning. I've been learning the same thing myself, bro. At first it was like, you know, you're trying to learn what you're doing. You don't know, yeah. like you just have this <laughs> desire to, to be, to create. And then, yeah. and then because you have a personal thing with it and you're learning it yourself, yep. you're not thinking of how can my wife or my family can be involved no, with it. You're just thinking of how do I master <laughs> this craft? <laughs> right. And then as you get older and you get comfortable with the skill and the, you understand how to do the lives mm. and how to do the music mm. and you understand all this stuff, you sort of, as a Christian, you sort of grow gracefully, man. And you, yeah. you kind of embrace the journey for the journey, the process, <laughs> not even nice. like, not even like I need to get my goal. No, now that now the need to get my goal is like, yeah, I mean, that's long term, but yeah. the process is fun. 
Mm. Yo, I'm enjoying dude, the journey. Yo, now that you say that, it's like it kind of makes you think of like the elderly people. Like that's why they're so gracious. Mm. Mm, facts. They got so much wisdom. They've been through so much stuff facts. that mm. you come to them and you're like, yo, my marriage is failing and I lost my job. And, 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 and then my my only person that was helping me out kicked me out on the street. And they're always like, you know what, man? Everything's gonna be all right. You know what yeah. I mean? And I, you know, just just yep. trust in the Lord. And they just so calm. And it's because they've been through so much. They've probably been through yep. what you went through and and then some facts yep. facts hey listen before facts. we continue on i just want to make sure that uh the people get to share their their shout outs to you man we got go ye saying what's up hey. uh who else we got in here jeremy uh, jeremy dunk is saying what's up too what's good everybody's showing love hey, um and we're gonna jump into uh, a music video cage two do you want to just give us some background on this song before and a video before we share it yeah, for sure, man. Uh, so this is a sequel of a track uh, that I was an original track was called Cage. Uh, that was just basically about just kind of feeling like I was trapped. Uh, you know, when I was kind of writing at that time, it was years ago. I was like, oh, man, should I just do Christian hip hop? Should I just kind of do a little bit of the world stuff? Should I? And I just kind of felt like the devil was trying to just keep me trying to keep me caged up. Keep, yeah. uh, but Cage 2 was like, I'm out. I'm free. I'm Fire. in this place now where it's fun. It's, you know. I'm enjoying the process. I don't care. You know, it's Christian hip hop. This is what I'm doing. So, Cage 2, I'm free. Check it out. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I was in the cage. I was in the cage, man. Now I'm out. Now I'm out. He came in with a key. I was in the cage. Undecisive, what should I be writing? God came and kicked that door down. I'm excited. Yo, you think I'm lying? Don't want you to buy it. Come and see it for yourself. I'm right and smiling, free to go be me. Yeah, let me show you, ain't confused. Ain't afraid of what the devil say. Ha, so amused. See me laughing, crack a lock it. God gave me the stone, I'm stopping. Yeah, yeah, I know that line is played out. He made it happen, just a coming in. This my heartbeat. Listen, I'm talking. Rapping like a marksman. God told me we marching. A 10, huh? Everybody get in line. We don't have to be constrained in chains on the cross. He died. Why we living in these walls? Don't you let him close you in. Whispers in your ear. Tell him no, 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 no. They get you. ain't getting me. I ain't falling for it. No way. Go play. God told me you cannot stay. I'm out the cage. I'm out. I was in the cage. I was in the cage, man. Now I'm out. Now I'm out. Now I'm out. He came in with a key. Catch me looking back, feeling like a free man, ain't taking nobody's crap. Holy listening to the ones that matter, blocking all the chitter chatter, stuck up in before. Now I'm in the after crash, it got me running faster, cause I got a purpose. Put you on to Jesus Christ, I'm a teacher, help you learn it. Here's a lesson, repent of your sins, call him Lord, confess with your mouth, you gon' follow and get it done. What he's doing in your life, tell the whole world. About it. That's just what I'm trying to do. Give you my him and me. Hope he's shining through. Can't believe the things he's done. Here to tell you something. I was locked up in the cage. Got the key free to run. Man, brother, that's what's up, man. Fire video, man. Hand claps for that. Okay. Brother, we back. We back. That's that gym music, so, bro. Mr. Yeah, for real, bro. That's, like, that's the, the music you put on when you really trying to get that, that weight up. Ah. <laughs> Fine. So listen, brother. Do you I rock to yourself when you work out? <laughs> you put your own music. Like, you know what? I'm gonna get hyped to my own. Track. <laughs> he plays his own Spotify playlist. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get paid and work out at the same time. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get paid while point I'm zero out. zero zero. What is it? Point I just zero made zero point yeah. zero zero cents. <laughs> How about that? I just made point point zero zero. <laughs> That's not even a one. It's point zero 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 cents. I made a margin uh, of a penny. Yo, brother, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we do have something called a creative tip. I'm sure you're aware of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to ask you something real simple. It's more, more of your personal takeaway that I think a lot of creatives can benefit from hearing everybody's cool. story, where they came from, what inspires them and whatnot. Um, if you had the opportunity to speak to yourself in the past, like just coming into Christian hip hop, what advice would you give yourself? Uh, the relationship uh, factor, like uh, make relationships with people. Don't don't sit here and try to do stuff by yourself. 
Um, that would be that would be my number one thing. I feel like make relationships. Um, don't try to do things just by yourself. Um, and like like for me, I just kind of felt like it was find find your sound, find your you know don't don't push it on people. Just find your sound, find what you're doing, find your process, kind of fine tune it, put it out. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But just have fun. Uh, so many people, I think, they try to do this maybe for other reasons or whatever. Just have fun. Mm. <laughs> if you ain't having fun with it, good luck to you. Uh, and that goes, that, and that's dope because that goes for anything, for any believer or any person, you know what I'm saying, that's looking into doing something that, that makes them happy. Like, you know, find your yeah. thing, do yeah. it well, do it for the glory of God, and yep. and just live you know what i'm Let saying stop somewhere. worried about you know yeah. what people think yeah i i totally agree just you know just let whatever spills from it spill out from it you know what i mean it's like Amen. If you you got something you like to do you like to draw you like to you like to rap you like to make spoken poetry you like to paint just, it, don't worry about the money aspect and all that kind of stuff from it uh just put it out if people like it they like it and Yo. if you enjoy doing it you're just gonna enjoy doing it um, Thanks. So that's it. I think that's what weeds out the people that are truly called to do it and the people that are doing it with false motives mm -hmm. is that if you're truly called to do it, uh, you have no choice but to do it. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, yeah. you got the resources in front of you. Like I used to I used to get upset sometimes. Like I'm just being transparent. Sometimes sure. I used to be like, yeah. God, why are you throwing this 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 dessert in front of me and I can't like I'm trying to make this yeah, scalable sustainable you know I'm trying to get out of my nine to five like why are you like should I be doing this should I not be doing this like it's that wrestle you know what I mean because we don't yeah, have a clear bro. path for it you know what I mean yeah, especially right. if you're a layman and uh, you're not called to be a pastor or anything like that and it's difficult you know? to build anything from scratch oh anything is yeah. extremely difficult to build up so there's a lot of pain points that come with it. Like a, a lot of people just look at it as like, oh, you just looking at it the limelight. You just want to be in front of people's faces. You just want the attention. Mm. It's like, yo, if you realize how much goes into this, <laughs> facts. Bro. If how you much think investment? that the only payment I want is just for people to look at me, right, right, <laughs> facts. After all the work, like writing. You know, yo, you'd be surprised. Some people tuning, just, some people just do this for them to look at them, though. Buying yeah, the beat. Well, yeah. but the thing you know? is, is like, it can't be. They may be lying to themselves and saying yeah, that that's all they yeah. want, uh, yeah. but they just haven't dug mm. deep enough. Mm. That's true. I like that's that because, true. like, I, I yo, like there's that. no way that's too fickle. Like, that's too <laughs> weak of a reason to be like, I just want you to look at me, man. Like, I do all this work, hours and hours of perfecting, and hours and hours of 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 doing this work. Mm. And just looking at me, I'm good, mm. man. I'm good. That's mm. my payment. Like, no, man, you're doing this because there's got to be something internal. Whether the music is your therapy, yeah. Whether it's to glorify God, whether yep. it's a message you're standing Science. behind, there's yep. something you just got to dig deep enough. And once you get to there, that's when that magic really happens. Yeah, yeah that's I when think, you. I think that's right. when that magic really happens. Facts. Yep. Yep. Dope. Hey, brother, Um, you want to share any links or any updates? Now's the time to do so. You got an open platform to go ahead and promote, brother. This is this Bet. is all you now. Appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, man. You know, I got a track dropper Friday. Uh, You had made mention. Uh, I, I just can't just start the, the 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 label to branch out from Rapture Ready Productions. Mm. I'm running this Rapture Ready Productions uh, North with my man Kingsman J. Uh, Dope. He's there's got, the there's got to be somehow we can collaborate on that, too. Right. Uh, oh, there's always a way. <laughs> there's, if there's a will, there's a there way. There you go. There you go. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You just you just said the word. Collaborate. Let's, they, let's go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you Kingsman spoke it J. into existence. Yeah, bro. You just spoke it. I talked to somebody earlier today. He said, man, we got to collaborate with you. One of my. You just Thanks. spoke it into existence. There we go. We're doing let's do it. it. We're doing I'm down. Now we're doing all. it. There you go. You shouldn't have said nothing. You're right. Uh, Kingsman J, uh, TC Boy, they're, they're two of the artists who, who, are, who are rocking with me with the RRP North. Uh, so we got a track on on Friday featuring Jamar Spencer. He kills the hook. Uh, so y'all look out for that noise. Um, and just look out uh, for some more tracks. We're going to have some uh, EPs, some albums coming from some of the artists on RP North. I'm going to be dropping singles because I just love to drop singles. I'll probably do an EP in the, in the summertime. Uh, but we're going to be working Dope. me with Rapture Ready Productions. Uh, Jeremy, you mentioned he said, yo, what's up in there? That's the CEO. Fire! Shout out to Jeremy. Uh, man, there's just so many dudes, man. So many 
uh, women and, and, and bros with the with the uh, the two two companies combined, man. We're just we ready to put some music out and make this a movement. So I love Look it, out, man. Folks. Hey, Look and out. you real talk, man. You got us on your side, man. I love that. I love Appreciate the community. It. That's what we desire over here, man. Um so we're looking forward to what you're doing, uh, what your brothers are doing together, the mission and everything, man. Thanks, man. And uh, we Appreciate definitely got to get you back on the show sometime soon. Let's definitely, go. Definitely, bro. All right, brother, man. Appreciate y'all. Love you, bro. Grace and peace. Take care, man. Peace. peace. Love y'all. Peace. Dope, dope, dope. Mad Good true. brother, man. Good brother. Yeah, man. I, I remember what you're saying. Mm. Like, all of a sudden, this dude is all over my feed. I'm yeah, like, he just. Who is this for dude? For real, bro. Man. He, like, just popped out of nowhere. And I was like, yo, he's, like, everywhere. Like, I felt like dude just came in my kitchen and I just grabbed something out of thing. the fridge. And it was just, that. Yo, it was like, yo, what up, man? And just left my house like, yo, who are you? How are you just coming and grabbing <laughs> Kool-Aid, bro? Yeah, that's like the skit I did with Manny. You can't come in my house and just grab <laughs> The skit I did with Manny where he gets up from bed. And like, he got hey, the pajamas on. He got the on pajamas on. I'm working late. <laughs> Yo, that was BRM with my Facebook feed. Because yeah. I'm seeing all these people I know, like all the rappers I follow and all these. And all of a sudden, BRM. I'm like, what? You know what, what it was, what though? It, it, it was like a friendly, aggressive. I don't even know if it was a strategy on his part, but it was a friendly, aggressive, I would say, just strategy for the sake of just saying it. Like it was, yeah. it was like, it wasn't spam. It was like, nah, I seen him everywhere. He was just putting in work. But it was welcoming. It so was, it's the same thing you know, happened with um, you know? Oak, Oak Boy. Um, yeah, same thing. Like, he, same it wasn't thing. spammy. All of a sudden, it was it just wasn't like, like spam. Because you know how some dudes be tagging like 100,000 people? All their, they be tag, they make sure you see it. They share a yeah. video and they tag the entire friends, friends list. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it, like, you, it, you, every single time they respond, you get like 50 notifications. You're like, yo, this is, you're supposed to pay for this kind of stuff. <laughs> you're like, cheating. you sent me a barrage like, of You no cannot case. tag 5,000 of your friends. Like, this oh, is, yeah. that's cheating. Man. Man. No, nah, but it was like, it was hard work. You could just see diligent work and people really appreciating his art. And you can tell, like, people really share. Nah, it. he did his thing. Because it wasn't it like that. It wasn't like a notification that I got because somebody tagged me. It was just like, it was like Facebook. It was just like, yo, check this dude out. Hey, yo, JJ, que lo que, brother, que what's up, man? Que lo it's about all the Spanish. Familia. Yo, Brandon's still up in here. When I see someone doing something dope like y'all, I support it just honest. Yo, brother, likewise, Fire, man. Bro. We love it. Um, Salute to you, man. We're going to jump into our featured track of the day. This is 1KP, son. I love this, brother, man. This is great. Featuring Paris. Charis? Charis? Char Chariso? Check it out. Check. I'd rather eat crumbs with a bomb before I eat steak with a snake. We don't eat with no snakes. And ain't nobody touching no plates till all my homies done ate. Gotta make sure they straight. They're telling me I gotta have faith, no cap. I'ma pull up in that race. No cap, they say God is good, but I say God is great. Yeah. Drop top hot in the cool. Sit, sit clips on the block, making moves. Besides, you flip flop, no socks with the truth. And she ain't no thought, but she rock with the crew. Yeah, we came a long way, only by his grave. By his grave. They say God is good, but I say God is great. <laughs> we come up out of the trench. We used to sit on the bench. Now it's a whole lot of tension. Cause we on ain't there like a pin. They salute me just like a lieutenant Cause they know I'm gon' ride to the end If I tell you I love you, I mean Then I'ma go to war about you I be talking to the Lord about you And he say they got a blessing on the way We ain't had nothing, came a long way Two cell phones in the closet The ops don't want no problem Bad roll in my pocket Walk by faith, no watch We didn't break, we signed it Just too hard, we sauce When it would be nothing if I never took those losses Through the black sweat, tears, and pain I done walked through a whole lot of rain I done stood through the fight, through the flame Till the day came and changed my name And I'll never be the same Now I go hard as hell Serving the love for them If I ball with my dogs on earth I'ma ball with my dogs in heaven No, we not in Hollywood But we shoot movies every day They yelling out God is good But we yelling out God is great I'd rather eat crumbs with a bomb Before I eat steak with a snake And ain't nobody touching no plates Till all my homies done ate They're telling me I gotta have faith No cap, I'ma pull up in that rave They say God is good But I say God is great in the cool, sit, sit clips on the block, making moves. Besides, you flip flop, no socks with the truth. And she ain't no thought, but she rock with the crew. Yeah, we came a long way, only by his grave. They say God is good, but I say God is great. Yeah, we came a long way, only by his grave.
but yeah. I say got it. In a clip, I show out. I ain't talking no pistols, yeah. I was dead broken 14, I ain't go out. I was learning my lesson, yeah. Pick up the mic, left my stripes in the street. Put down my nights and I picked up a blessing. That angel is laying, I'm fixing the heat. Peace and then caught me, put wave in the crest and I painted his presence, yeah. We all in my section, yeah. My people been buzzing, I can't get a car. My jacket is different, ain't come from the mall. My life a little different, I came too far. I stood in the rain, the pain and fall. Look at my eyes, all you see is the scars. Look at my life, it'll tell you it all. Tell you it all. Yeah. Keep my eyes on the one that it made me a star. This ain't my prayer, I made it the law. Can't be a player, they gave me a facade. They capping they rap, I couldn't relate. I'm mad in the facts, just looking to safe. They just say that he good. Looking back, I say that he. Yeah, yeah, that was 1KP Sun Great featuring Paris Charis. Charis. That's how I'm going to say it, Charis. I, I almost want to finish with the old <clears throat> Chariso. Chariso. Hey, what up, everybody? Jumping in. I see everybody. Josh McDonald. What up, what brother? Up? I see you up in here. Dude is crazy dope. I see you. Uh, Erickson. What up, everybody? Jumping in. We'll do our best to follow along. Uh, we just had BRM with us as a special guest. Uh, shared a dope creative tip yeah, he did. Um, about building network and, and just building up your network and building relationships with mm. people and serving that was another. actually a big moment for us when we realized yeah, facts. that yep. I remember that milestone when yeah. we realized you know what we should really be reaching out more and mm-hmm. building a community yeah. that's kind of like when the show really started to develop right <laughs> Yeah. when we really it's started funny. like reaching yeah. out yeah you know it's weird because when we first started we were very much like engaged with different people and then we kind of pulled back yeah because, we kind of like well because we separated. ran into we ran into some, co- some controversy and then yeah, we were like yo yeah. this is getting too much <laughs> yeah but that, I'm saying like it's crazy how like, he said you know, his number one tip yeah, was, was building to build yep. relationships Thanks. and it's funny because that's literally what kind of changed our direction and made it what it is today like, yeah just talking with people just simple Tip yeah, and, and tip. you know, what's crazy is that during this time, like, you know, now we got to utilize more than ever other ways that we can continue to network. Praise God, man, for the internet. Real talk. Like, I know, I know, <laughs> you know, the enemy can obviously use it, but <laughs> praise God that we're still able to interact and engage with one another. Yeah, I, saw, one, I saw a another, meme you know? where it was like, all these passes used to be like, Facebook and the internet is the devil. The song was called Great. By um, 1KP, son? 1KP, son. I, I saw a meme on uh, on Facebook that was like, all these Sofrito passes. Sofrito juice. <laughs> what? Yo. Red cup. Oh, yeah. Sofrito juice. You got some Sofrito juice in the red cup. You know how it is. <laughs> Sofrito juice. Yo, go ye. Yeah, Don't that, be coming up the- in here and trying to take our titles, brother. Don't be doing that. Came out the cut and Man, the yo, show. Yo, don't. Listen, Sofrito we can't juice. have the audience beating us at this title game. <laughs> You know it's that now. Yo, wait, Goye, you already no es, got a title. No es sola. Si Yo, no es didn't sola. Goye inspire a title already? I think so. He did. I think the last episode. We got to start doing a sofrito juice, bro. I'm marking <laughs> that down. It is sofrito juice. It, it, and you know what? Hey, it's just showing fan love, right? Like <laughs> Sofrito juice. It doesn't have to be necessarily us to come up with it, right? No? Sometimes you got to keep so, the, spi- the spice. Frito. The, you know, the Spanish spice. Juice. <laughs> And you gotta introduce Yo, go some sofrito juice we're gonna to have to your start, body. Like, you know we're I'm gonna saying? have to start giving prizes to the to the best creative title giver. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I guess that is a the best another, creative title the giver. The best is that like the, the bestest title now guy for maker. The best creative. Ti- it's like <laughs> it's like the uh, the fortune cookie guy. It's like what? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, uh, who is the best title guy maker yo, of all? Man. All right, dope, fire. So, so how do we officially like jump into our topics? <laughs> how? What? Did you really just ask me? How do we do this? Yo, do, uh, yo Jay. So how do we? Somebody gotta help me here. How about? <laughs> how about? What do you mean? How do we officially transition into our topics? Like, I don't want to be like corny with it. Like, yo, Gil. Like, just <laughs> randomly. Well, like, now that you're doing it yo, that Gil, way. Did you hear about Ruslan's response? <laughs> like, am I supposed to like 
<laughs> just like come out the cut. Well, you could have been like, creative and be like, yo, so what's popping? Yo, what's, on what's TV popping right now? Ah, and then I could have been like, well, Ruslan is saying yes! stuff. Yes. Make it natural, like All a right, conversation, man. I got to put a note Jeez, down. We're editing as we're doing our show. Like, that's Make how you know that this like joint is live, a man. A conversation. Oh, what, this dude is making notes. All right, dope. Notes. All right, yo, so what's going on in Christian hip hop? What's bro? going on with Christian <laughs> hip hop, man? <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, Ruslan is going crazy. <laughs> so, so I do. I gotta give you like a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this bump. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, so yes, what's up? What's going on with? Okay, what's going on with Ruslan, bro? Well, it, I, I mean, I came upon this, and I'm Spit like, what is what's up going with on? Somebody came at him. First, first of all, well, no, Ruslan is not texting at, me anymore. What's good, what's good with the yeah, text no, promo? I don't know what's going on, bro? <laughs> Ruslan, step your text promo up, I, man. I don't I'm know still what waiting for that. I don't know what happened. I used to get the text messages about to drop this EP. Like, dude, I thought you were like legit <laughs> hooking me up with your number so we could right? chop it up, man. I'm trying to cross, hit you up with that. I thought we were cross promote and network and build we BFFs, you know. And little does he know, he was like, "Well, if you want to get my album, it comes right. out March 16th." So Ruslan responds to Adam 22. Uh, yeah. An interview that he did with Vlad TV. Yep. Because he was but, talking about Christians. So he caught it. He was listening to it. And he was talking about basically how Kanye West was, I guess, using Christianity as a Trojan horse and trying to make it sexy, you know? And he didn't like that. So Bruce Long kind of didn't like how he was speaking. He was speaking <laughs> reckless. Yeah. So he had to, you know, come correct and correct him. And, Jay, I love you. You going to play the clip? Huh? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Might I'm just well. reading. Yo, I love. I love this, man. You know, this is fun. No. What, what is here's fun? A, here's a Roos line. Here's Roos line's little response that he did. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying little. There's a, there's little dissing. I gotta work on it's that. Not I'm not trying to. His no. his Ruslan's response to Adam. Sometimes 22. I feel like with Kanye trying to make Christianity look sexy is that I need to like actually speak out and say something and be like, nah, like this is religion. This is stupid. This is no, you don't. Adam, no, you don't. You don't need to speak out. You need to just shh, just keep quiet. Mm. Keep your opinion to yourself. You don't really know what you're talking about when it comes to religion. And it's just not, you know, I don't talk about BMX riding and the culture that you come from. I don't know anything about that. I don't know about your world. So guess what? I don't talk about that. So no, you don't. You don't need to talk about that because you don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. So you, there you go. So <laughs> he's pretty much, uh, you know, Ruslan's upset because of what Adam 22 is saying here about yeah. religion, Christianity. Um, I mean, he makes a good point because he's talking about how like, you know, he's BMX guy and he's like, I don't presume to understand that culture and speak on it and give an opinion because I don't really know anything about it. So he's like, it's not fair for someone who doesn't understand yeah. the true cores of Christianity and then speak on it and say, this is stupid. That's dumb. Don't follow it. It's you're crazy. Like, at least you should understand it better. So I get his point. He, he, he is right. I don't speak about things I don't know about. I'm sorry, man. Jay, Jay you distracted me, brother. Dude, we are having I a show you, right now, no, Jay, bro. We got to build, man. You're not <laughs> doing it. This Yo, dude is reading what comments. Up, what up, Danny? Mira, Mario Escort hey, Danny, live. Mario, I love you too, man. I got you. So, yeah. So I would, If I knew the salsa button, I, know I would hit the salsa I'm following button. you. I'm following you. It's the zero, man. It's the zero. I'm following you. So you're saying that Ruslan is making a point. Because yeah. the dude's talking about a culture he has no idea about. Yeah. And uh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm glad that's how you felt about everything I said. No, no, no. So, <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All that important stuff. Thanks. Do you think it was, it was in Ruslan? Do you think, like, are you happy that Ruslan responded? Um, do you think it was necessary to respond? Uh, I would say yes and no. Uh, yes, because. If it came across his feed and he felt that convicted about it, then he should say something because his, it's his conviction. You know, I'm not going to be like, I know you were convicted on it, but you were wrong for saying something. That's if that was his conviction. Hey, do you think? Yeah. But if it ever came to light that his quote unquote conviction was just to get viewership, you know what I mean? Or, then I would be like, that's whack. But it seems genuine. I think it's. I think it's. I, well, now, now we're speculating on his motive. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, if like, that I was his wanna, motive, like to. I'm but I guess for the sake. I, like I guess for the Amen. sake of thinking through his action, I think that's a good thing to do, right? That's what I'm Not saying. Not so much put it on Ruslan, but kind of think about what he did in this moment to kind of like 
see if there is a motive that's that's good here. See if this is an action that is a good thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think what is following, like what he's doing, what his YouTube, what his videos, and everything yep. that he's doing, I think it is in his space to address it. Yeah, he for talks sure. about hip hop. He, he interviews about religion. He interviews about unbelievers on his platform. For those that yep. don't know, Ruslan has a dope, dope YouTube channel. Yep. This dude is putting in it work. All. This guy is he's out in Cali, Christian hip hop artist out in yep. Cali. For those that don't know, fire artist by the way. I love his music yep. too. He's a Super real talented, talented brother. Um, he sort of reminds me of Russ. I don't know if it's he the does. I don't know if it's the man bun, but. He does. There's something about him. That no, he does. <laughs> even I his sound, agree. like his attitude and everything. It kind of reminds me of like, that's our, that's our Christian hip hop Russ. Like, yeah, it fits. <laughs> it kind of fits. Like the whole interview and him commenting on it, it fits his platform perfectly. I, I completely understand why. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's appropriate. Yeah. It's an action that's appropriate for what he's doing in his space. Yeah, for sure. And I love how it's crossing over because Vlad responded. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Vlad, Vlad sure actually um, flagged his YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And then they started private messaging one another. Yep. And I guess he threatened them or something like that. And was Which like, I think is crazy because everybody does that. Everybody takes videos, whether pol political, whether, you know, amusing, funny videos or whatever. And they there's people who have a platform dedicated to that. Like mm. They just take a bunch of videos that are on YouTube and they react to them. Yeah. They talk about them. They say whether they agree, whether they disagree, whether they uh, found the video stupid. Like, whatever. It's their opinion. It's mm -hmm. just a reaction to a video. So yeah, I so think you it's can't, weird. You that, can't really flag that. No. Like, Vlad is just hating. Like, Imagine we get flagged by Ruslan for this. <laughs> it's, like, it's possible. It's highly like, possible. Now it's like a three-way three, three -way battle. Like, nah, you said this. You said this. Somebody reviews it, us. And it's I like mean, this, for me, I don't see it as like a problem. The, the Russian doll that keeps going smaller and smaller. Yeah. <laughs> And then he does a reaction video to our we reaction all, video. We all react to one another. It's like this domino effect. And then you effect. look at YouTube and it's all of us like this. We're all reacting. All it's these the, different videos. It's like the mirror. It's and like, it, I think the all y'all YouTubers, be a little bit more creative, man. It's like the reaction to the new Marvel movie. And it's always a picture of the, the, the content creator like this. Yo, tell Pops he's always welcome to come through, man. Always, man. <laughs> Forever, man. That's my dude. Um... Yeah, man. Um, so there was one part of it though that kind of like yeah, I know exactly me. what you're talking about. That, so, and, and, and it was because mm, it was left hanging. I love. For, first of all, my personal opinion because I like to throw out speculation and different thoughts. Yeah. But my personal opinion, I'm glad that he did it. I'm happy that Ruslan did too. it. Me too. Yep. I stand behind what he's doing. Um, yep. Rapzilla chimed in too, mm -hmm. uh, and said, uh, you know, that they're, they're, they're gonna yeah, they're gonna have his back, whatever. Uh, I think a lot of people chimed in and, and are, are going to side because this is, you know, the opportunity to stand aside a brother, man, Facts. who's standing up for truth right now. Yep. But there is one section that kind of like caught my, caught my eye. So let's, yeah. let's, check, let's check this out real quick. Like, okay, if you don't accept Jesus, you're just not going to go to heaven, even if you've never even heard of Jesus. Cause, <laughs> you know. not, not all Christians believe that, by the way, Vlad. Hmm. You heard that? Yeah, that we was, can play that, that one was, more time. Uh, Let's play it one more time. Like, okay, if you don't accept Jesus, you're just not going to go to heaven, even if you've never even heard of Jesus. Because <laughs> you know, not, not all Christians believe that. By the way, Vlad. See, that's the part. Yeah, it, <clears throat> it was a little odd to me because it was it, left hanging. Like he, he didn't elaborate on what he meant. So since it was so broad, it it could go to okay. First, Jesus is not the only way. Mm. Or it could be to his last point that whether you've heard of him or not, you can't be saved. So it's like, which one is it the one that he said, not all Christians believe in that? Because if he goes to the latter and he's talking about that Jesus is the only way, eh, you're going to have to I think explain that. I think he's talking about the latter. And I think he's talking about he's the one the latter. that whether you've heard of him or not, that you can't be saved. There you go. I think that's what and he's referring to. And even if that's to. not, if that's the one he's talking about, then I still have to ask. The Bible is clear where it says faith cometh by hearing. So if you've never heard it, how could you be saved? So Ruslan did address this and he says something to the lines where, do you think that God is powerful enough to have a grace for certain individuals? For example, babies. Do you mm -hmm. think that God is powerful enough in his grace to bring babies who don't hear the message of Christ to heaven yep. when they when they die. 
I believe that's a different scenario because it's innocence. It's th- they're babies. They they haven't committed a sin yet. Technically, they they are they are definitely sinners, but what? they haven't really committed. I mean, where's the sin? When when they cry for milk, like you know, say like they haven't. They're, they're completely innocent still. They haven't really done that. Where in regards to a person who completely understands the word of God is written in their heart, so by them committing sins, even though they don't know God, there that is the logic that because they don't know God, they're living in sin, and therefore there's no payment of that sin. So, mm. so you think I heard of this like the age of accountability? What do you mean? So the age of where you understand what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, I heard of that. Like, you that's know, what the I'm age saying. Of like, accountability. You don't have to in in any culture. Killing someone is bad. Why is that? Because it's a it's a it's an internal thing that automatically we know that killing someone is bad. No mm-hmm. one has to teach you that. It's just automatically ingrained. No, but what I'm what I'm talking about is age of accountability. So you don't know what you're doing is bad. That's what where I'm referring to because we're it, talking about I mean. people who haven't heard, right? Yeah. So. Let's say a tribe somewhere, you know, mm-hmm. hasn't heard the, the, the gospel. When they die, what happens with them? Heaven or hell? In a tribe? Where yeah, they, they don't, never heard the gospel. They're in an area where the gospel hasn't been reached. What happens? What are your yeah, thoughts? I, I am, I'm not the ultimate I'll put, judge. Yeah, I, can only, a, I can only go you by... Seat of, of, yo, but I can only go by what the word of God says. And it's are you uncomfortable right now? I'm not trying to make no, you... No, I'm not. Because <laughs> honestly... Let's go live, yo, brother. Honestly, <laughs> it comes down to I don't really know for sure because I'm not God and I, don't, I can't judge the hearts of men. But yo, BRM, only, we're going to have to call you back in. <laughs> yo, I can only go by what here. the word says. And the word says faith comes by hearing. And those who don't hear the word of God Mm. And are completely adults and understand what understand. good and evil, like good and evil is. Do they have to have an understanding of it? I think they all automatically understand okay, it. Okay, cool. They automatically Why? Why? understand What makes you say that? Because I'm like testing you right now. Like, it's <laughs> written in our hearts. The Bible is clear Facts, on that. The, the, word, the law of God is written in our hearts. Facts. So regardless whether they had no Christ they violated, or, or they still they violated, violated God's law. Facts. Facts. I can't go, okay, so I can't go to another country just because I don't know the laws and stab someone. Got you. And assume, okay. oh, well, it could be allowed here. I don't know the laws. Mm. Maybe it's acceptable for me to stab someone. No. Either way, I still have to pay for that crime. Without diligence. Whether I knew about it or not. Diligence in the building. They, I'm going to get arrested and they're going to tell me, you broke the law. I didn't know the law. Mm. It doesn't matter. You did something wrong. Diligence says this is why we do missions. I was going to go into that. That's why it should inspire us. Diligent, I don't know if you missed it, but we just played a clip from Ruslan um, going back and forth with Vlad. Uh, I guess an a interview with Adam22. And, and there's a part where he, uh, where Vlad is saying that there are people who believe that if you haven't heard of Christ, you go to hell. And Ruslan jumped in and chimed in and was like, Not everybody believes that. There you go. And Not I'm everybody saying, believes that. And I'm saying that's kind of something you would have to really unpack because at least. According hey, to Jay, what I've we don't read, play all the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, according to what I've read, the Bible is clear on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in regards to the law of God written in our hearts, regardless whether you're a believer or not, you understand that you're doing bad and you understand when you're doing good. Mm. Even if it's moralistically, you still understand those concepts, whether you were born and raised in church or not. Mm. Josh McDonald says the Bible teaches that all have sinned. And all would go to hell for their sins. Every single one God chose chooses to save some. It is often compared to someone who adopts a child and picks one from all the other kids. Are they bad, bad for not, for not adopting everyone. every single one? Back. No, they choose to show grace to one. That is often what is what it's compared to. Dope. Uh, yeah. John Carlos says, I'm hip. Should have unpacked it. But in all fairness, not that I'm defending him. He did unpack a lot of what he says. So it could have been something that he missed. So I'm not, like I said, we're not judging well, uh, motives. He did, he did say that know? he's going to follow up. Somebody did say, so somebody chimed in. You know, of course, Christians of are course. watching. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yep. you got the zealous ones that are throwing stones. Then and you got the real ones that are trying to edify. When you, know? you come into the, to the, the mindset of the video is that you're attacking a mindset. So now, because you've challenged someone else's mindset, you're basically inviting people to analyze yours. 
Yeah. So it's you're gonna get some critiques. You're gonna get. You don't some, see it. You don't see it. It's just gonna be your arm. It's, like, it's just it's your arm. Like it's gonna, Thank uh, you, mama. You act like it's gonna Te burn quiero, off an ass. Te quiero mucho. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, That's to my wife, by the way. Isn't <laughs> For real, she's like trying to get the cup. The people that are listening on the podcast, the like, what just happened? <laughs> I'm gonna get the same response I get in all my YouTubes. I thought this was a Christian channel. <laughs> she was trying to get the like, cup, but man, trying to not I... get like in the camera, like it's gonna burn off. Don't her even arm. Give me the benefit of the doubt. No, he did say that he's gonna follow up, and a bunch of people chimed in and, and we're talking about. But yeah, that. what I was saying is that if you're gonna correct someone or if you're gonna go after someone's mindset, you're inviting people to critique yours. Mm. So, of course, people are going to analyze your mindset and chime in in the YouTube and be like, no, you're wrong because in Philippians it says, you know what I mean? So, it, 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 even now, I bet you somebody at some point is going to make a comment on this and be like, you know what? That is the poor excuse of scripture. <laughs> happens. I, I, I think it's intriguing, man, especially during this time where everybody's on the internet, everybody's yeah. streaming, everybody's engaging on, you know, on conference apps and everything like that yeah so more than now more than ever like you know you you know ruslan is has been going yeah, yeah, yeah. hard with his youtube channel and everything like that so that, that was, i mean really that was really the only thing that i caught on to that i was like mm -hmm, mm, you gotta kind of uh, needs a little more i think just, he was just like he was he was emotional at the time he was just, he just oh, yeah. wanted to yeah he, he wanted just to wanted to go it. against everything it was like you could tell right. he's upset frustrated he was annoyed he yeah was annoyed you know why it. because adam 22 the way he was coming across like a lot of young people look up to him yeah. a lot of people look up to homeboy I don't um, understand why. Can anybody, does anybody know anything about Adam 22 up in here? I see him a lot. I think he owns a label or something. He's always with the, with those young artists. He's always with those. Vlad? No, Adam 22. Oh, Adam 22. Yeah. The dude he, the Vlad was uh, interviewing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I never like really did my research on Homeboy, but I see him everywhere all the time. Like I always do interviews. That was the first time he was in my radar. But so a lot of young, young kids like really look up to this dude. Like you see this older cat. Yeah. On tour. So he was more upset with the influence. And he's how upset he with the influence it. and how he's trying to talk down. Not so much about Kanye West, because that's where it came. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah. He was like, yo, I think it's kind of corny that Kanye West is is using this to influence Christianity. Like that kind of stuff. Yep. Religion is what he said. Religion. You know? Um, and but, the, even interesting, he was like, and it's not even, if you're going to use Christianity, make sure it's that real Christianity, not that fluff. And I thought that was interesting. That he knows the difference. You know what I'm saying? Because especially nowadays where everybody's calling themselves Christian and mm. there's some crazies out there and there's some, you know, serious ones out there. And he was able to pick apart like, yeah, there's some crazy ones, but then there's the real ones, the traditional Christians. Mm. I thought that was interesting, too, that even though he was mocking, he knew the difference. Right. You talking about Vlad? No, the guy he was interviewing. I, Adam 22? Yeah, Adam 22. He was saying like he he... He knows the difference between the fake Christianity and our true represented Christianity. I think it was Vlad you're talking about. No, no, no. He said it himself. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought he was just knocking the whole way through. No, he, he said it. He, I mean, it wasn't like he was bigging it up. It was just more like, at least if you're going to represent Christianity, represent it right. Kind of saying like Kanye so what was, was a fake form of Christianity. So what makes it a fake form of Christianity? Oh, he thinks he's like... He, he thinks, thinks he's, he's not really about Jesus. Ah, so he thinks he's just taking advantage of a of a yeah, demographic, that was of his a community. Point. That was his point. And he's not a fan of religion, period. Bro, Christian rappers but. do that all the time. <laughs> Everybody does it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Christian. Everybody Christian, does it Christian all the time. Christian rappers do it all the time. Like <laughs> You see the most raunchiest music video. They win an Yo. award for that raunchy video. And they're like, I want to thank God for this... Uh, for this award. Uh. Yo, John Carlos says, how do you feel about what Kanye did or where he stands? Uh, I, as of right now, I haven't been, he hasn't been on my radar recently and I haven't One done a, enough said. research right now, but where he started and where I left off of seeing where he, where he was in his walk, yeah. I was very, very encouraged. Yeah. So if it's continuing, then it's just a matter of maturity and bearing fruit, you know, one, more and more fruit as time goes along. No Christian can take this away from Kanye West. I'm sorry. Regardless of what you think of him, you can't take this one thing away from him. He got uh, he has millions, a podcast. Thanks, he Jay. got millions and millions of people to say Jesus is king. Facts. I don't care what y'all say. 
Yep. Whether it was in vain, mm. whether his motives were terrible, right? He got people, and I'm talking about media platforms. Now he now, got all types of uh, influencers. Everybody at, when that album dropped, everybody was saying Jesus is king. Mm. So let me ask you <laughs> something. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? What what what's the benefit of everybody saying Jesus is king? Well, it brings it to conversation. It gets people to talk about it. It gets people to open up their Bibles if they've never opened up one before. You know, if they're like, if if Kanye West is following this crazy thing, let's see what this whole thing is about. Whether it resulted in fruit or not, it did plant a lot of seeds in people's minds. Mm. Not saying that it's the same seed as giving the gospel. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about a seed of conversation mm. where now it's opened up to a dialogue where majority of people well, before, I mean, look, it's still happening. You couldn't even talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's still, still talking it's still about ongoing. it. It's still ongoing. Most people, when you start talking about religion, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You missed me with the whole Jesus thing. Don't, nah, I'm good. Kanye? But because Kanye, Kanye West, you know, mentions it, now all of a sudden people are like, what if Jesus is king? What do you, what, why is he all of a sudden why talking about sudden Jesus? Is Jesus the king? What, what is you, going on I don't on understand here? this thing. He's losing his mind. And now you have an people open asking more questions than before. And people saying, what happened to Kanye? This dude let, done yeah. lost his mind. Opens up dialogue where yeah. before it was a little bit more, you know, you had to come direct. Like, hey, man. Album is dope. And the album is dope. The album is dope. And the album is <laughs> it's fire. dope. Like There's the one, no cussing. Which one is the one where he's like really praising and going in? Like that one where he's just singing and... Man, there's a bunch of them on there. It's like one that. like that really hits, bro, the soul. I think it's the first one. He just, he's it's like, like the very first track. singing. And he's not even trying to auto-tune it like perfectly oh, or, no. or trying you don't to even sing care. perfectly. And I actually appreciate it. Yeah, no, it sounds like a pure... That he didn't make it sound beautiful. Like yeah. He's like, nah, I'm going to sound retarded. I and know there's probably fine, people up in here that God. I know we got different kinds of people all, all up in here. And I know there's probably some people that are like, yeah, that's trash, complete trash. Like oh, what Kanye course. put out. The quality was garbage. It's not yeah. his typical stuff. Like that was super trash. I think what makes um, the Christian hip hop heads really enjoy the track is just that authenticity. Yeah. I don't think we're listening for like, even though the quality was, I, I thought it was good. I didn't hear anything that was like crazy. Like, oh my goodness, this is a mixtape. Mm. Um, but for me, it was like I didn't even I didn't even listen to those things. Yeah, I was either. just listening to a dude pour out worship. his soul. I was like, "Oh, this is, this is just a worship thing." Like he should have just took out his phone and just recorded. That's, it. But that's the thing, man. I would have enjoyed it that way, regardless too. of his motive. You know what I mean? Regardless, God was being worshipped. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like he was worshiping God. <laughs> like if his motive was wrong, that's between him and God. Mm. Why should we be the ones to be so concerned and been like, oh. I mean, even Paul in the word of God has talked about this, that even people who are speaking his name in vain, God still gets glory because they're speaking God. Mm. They're talking about God. Yeah. They're bringing uh, 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 awareness so as long as it's, to God. So as long as it's the right God, because you could be talking about false gods. I mean, yeah, but that 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 would be odd. Yeah. Like, it would yeah. be evident if they're just talking crazy. Like, you guys need to worship the god of the sea because he is all powerful Yo, and bro, the but... seashells and seashore. <laughs> you know, it's obvious. But he wasn't talking about. He said Jesus is king, yeah. and throughout the entire album, he's talking about Jesus Christ. He's talking about the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ. I've and, been trying to hit up that dude like <laughs> while, while you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I find I don't find a problem with it, and and the quality is dope. What he says is dope. I listened intently to see if there was anything like out of the ordinary or like oh I wouldn't have said that, and I couldn't find anything. If if somebody found something, please let me know. But I didn't find nothing. Did you? Say that again. Did you find like something crazy with Kanye West's album, like? Something that was oh, off, like that theology. Was off. No, it was. It was. Um, he kind of stayed away worship. from the theology. To be honest, he made it more about worship. Uh, Josh says, and although it's not insulting to God, like uh, thanks to Kanye, people are saying God is king. I mean, instead of listening to God in the Bible, I don't think God needs Kanye. No, no I'm not saying that either. I'm not saying that he needs him or or anything like that. But God uses all things for His good, and if this is a true conversion, then this is a beautiful thing because he has a massive platform and he's using it to glorify God. Mm. I'm not saying that he, God needs someone like him, but 
we at the same time can't shun it and be like, oh, what a terrible thing that Kanye West with the millions and millions of fans is praising God. Jeez, man, why you have to go and do that? Like at the same time, we can't be like, you know, what's the word? A, a sour puss. A sour puss. <laughs> Don't be a sour puss about <laughs> Kanye West serving God, like, you know, or, or worshiping God. And then if we find out that he's fake, that it really wasn't real, then it is what people it is. would say he fell out. <laughs> if he did, he did. He you fell know? out of faith. But I'm all I'm saying is that it's bringing conversations and it brought God into that's what platforms that, that I've never too. seen talk about God. starters for real. And I, yo, I saw it on the Breakfast Club. I saw it on yeah, like every, every yo, I, I heard it on the Joe Budden podcast. Joe Budden podcast talking about God it was everywhere. Yeah, like it was in places that you would never expect Truth. the conversation about God. Sour, and it would it got brought up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that's facts, man. So in that part is where I say, you know what? Regardless of what we think of Kanye, that happened. Mm. We can't take that away. And if it was fake, God still is glorified because he got talked about. True, because this whole thing started with Ruslan's response to Vlad, to Adam 22 on the Vlad interview. It all connects. And it comes right back to to him talking about Kanye. Look at this. That's very true. The very thing that we're talking (laughs) about right now. This guy who's a BMX rider is speaking about God and why it's all of a sudden became popular and that Kanye West is using it. Baba shops were lit. Not not anymore. Since (laughs) since when do we have a conversation where we're talking about celebrities using jesus christ for fame true yeah just that alone is a conversation yeah. that's never happened never have i seen celebrities put christ in order to get fame if anything it was always stay away from that don't talk about god don't talk about jesus well, record it, labels it, it, completely yo, were like you mm, don't do that let me ask you something off let me get ruslan off this screen hold on oh, man. get him out of here uh no i love you ruslan <laughs> <laughs> Keep texting me those promo updates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a personal relationship. He just texted me. EP <laughs> dropping next week. Uh, we have a personal relationship. That is it's all automated friend. messages. <laughs> all automated messages. Every time I respond, it directs me to his website. <laughs> it directs me to his shop. <laughs> Good morning, Ruslan. Hi, do you want a shirt? Thanks, man. You said it happens every few years. Give some examples, Josh. Who, who has used God to get started. Well, I'm not that's, talking what I, about, that's what I was going to say. I'm not talking about controversy because there's that's a lot of people who use say. it as controversy. Thank you. So does that sell though? Can somebody, imagine somebody like controversy Nowadays sells. it's happened, but I don't remember seeing this. Like, okay, for an example, and, and Snoop more, Dogg released a gospel album. Nothing's more controversial than the gospel. Controversy sells and nothing's more controversial than the gospel, bro. Yeah, but if you look at, we know about this. Because we've studied the the culture of music industry, and we all know that when artists got signed to a record label, one of the first things they always said is keep it neutral. You don't talk about God or religion. You don't talk about politics Chris because Pratt. you want to be appealing to all. Yeah. But all of a sudden, Christianity has become like this thing that makes you more popular. Which I've never Yo, seen. that is so weird, bro. All of a sudden, all these artists are getting baptized. <laughs> yeah. Yo, remember that wave? I'm like, yeah, everybody was getting baptized. I'm like, what the? I don't know. Where did this come from? All of a sudden, Christianity became cool. Huh. Where before, labels. Well, recently, that was a common, recently, common thing. Recently, did you see the post that Hulk Hogan put out? Did you see the post? Who? Hulk Hogan. Yeah, him praying on the wall. Did you see the caption? Did you see what he yeah. wrote? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All of a sudden, everybody's popping up the woodwork. Did you see it? Whole with Christianity. And I'm like, this is weird, man. Like Josh, to Josh's point, yeah, Chris maybe Pratt. one, a couple people here and there, but never a wave. Like there's a I wave. Chris Pratt, this one. That, well, yeah. Hulk Hogan been proclaiming, I guess. It was like, me. okay, then you had the Mel Gibson. He <laughs> found faith. And then he does the movie. The and then a couple Christ. years later, then you got now Chris Pratt giving the gospel at in an award show. And mm. you're like, oh, cool. But now you had like Sylvester Stallone. You had uh, you had uh, uh, the uh, uh, artist, like musician artist turning to God. You had uh, uh, what uh, just recently, uh, uh, what's this dude's name? Make you say, uh, nah, 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 uh, nah. Uh, Master P. Master P and his son creating a Christian rec- uh, uh, film. Film, film company. Fi- film thing. Yeah. 
You have. Uh, is it because we're doing a podcast? Kanye West? <laughs> like, is you it, have. Is it because I mean, we're researching? It could be, like, <laughs> but I mean, I was always into you know, like musician, you right? Know, and you didn't stuff. hear anything. And never was before. I hearing them. Nah. Unless those algorithms are perfect now. Only. Like, oh, they, wait. I take that back. <laughs> only in award shows. Yo, thanks for this Grammy. You know, and it was Little John. It was like, thank you, God. Yeah, yeah. It was like that. I want to thank Jesus. Yeah, and it's like brief. what? <laughs> Yo, that brief. Where'd that come from? He's up there with the chicks by his side. That was like the <laughs> raunchiest video ever. Yeah. I want to thank God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, that's the uh, only time you heard artists mentioning God, but putting them in music and yo, in Josh interviews. is saying it's not something new. I know, and he Josh says is saying it's not something new. It's but for me, way. what I'm saying that's not new is this wave. So many people all at once. All at once. Because, like I said, Snoop Dogg did a gospel album. Mm. Where did that come from? A gospel album by Snoop Dogg? Well, didn't, like, um, recently somebody, was it? Um, and it was accepted? No. <laughs> like, well, he actually of, okay, hit the gospel charts. Think of gospel music, like gospel. The, the Stella... Yeah, you know. like he went to that award show. So they ha- they've been having those for years, though. You know what I mean? Like, yes, but never celebrities. Okay, you're still that going back to like never a bunch of that. people at in the a same wave. Time. I'm you. not talking about a sporadic every yeah. now and then. A, you know, yeah, that's happened. Like I said, you had the Mel Gibson and you got Chris Pratt, and then you got all these like sporadics. But in this time, there was like literally like seven, eight oh, different Dogg artists, up actors. To Islam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's, yo, whatever the wave Just is. switch it up, man. You whatever know? the wave is. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this. There was a pastor, Louisiana pastor. Oh, yeah, talking man. Talking about uh, this whole COVID-19 yep. situation. Uh, pretty much saying that encouraging believers to still congregate without fear. I don't know about that, man. Without fear um, <sighs> of death. Without yeah, but and I get dying. what he's saying. He, I get what he's saying. He's using the scripture in regards to you know Christians not fearing death that we welcome it because you know our our to die is gain. You know what I'm saying? To you know because we have Christ. I get it. But this is not a matter of persecution. This is not a matter of the government saying your message needs to stop. You need to be in your homes. That would be different. And I would be right beside these pastors that are like trying to congregate anyways. And I would be like, yeah, let's do it. Because mm-hmm. they're trying to sign us. They're trying to do something that is attacking the gospel. Right. But what they're saying is stay in your homes. You can still do your church services online and things of that nature. It's just stay home for now because you can infect the community. Okay, so let's use your logic that you said to die is game. Mm-hmm. You're going to give the gospel to someone who doesn't have God. And give them the COVID-19, they end up dying. <laughs> and what happens now? <laughs> Yo, you, you die without what getting a the hot gospel. Take. What a hot take. So now Yo, I got that I question. So you is, being irresponsible and saying, right well, I got is. Jesus. So if like, I die, I who cares? Because I, I got right Jesus Christ. Okay, so class? now when you go to the grocery Something. store and you start passing it on to other people is it this one? that you didn't get to give the gospel to. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, right, right. there is perfect. That's good. You're going to go to the Yo, grocery store. You go to give go somebody the gospel and you just touch them and they're like, <laughs> you're like what the? What, what are you doing, man? Like, that's what I'm saying. And it's happening because, yo, the recent how are you, story. Okay, how are you not loving your ago, neighbor? That's what I'm saying. Because recently there was a bus driver who died 11 days later from a person coming on the train and coughed. And he Ooh, he made a video. Real talk, yeah. He made a video. How yep. was that? It was, it was a bus. A bus. He was, was a bus, bus driver. driver. And she came on the bus, coughed. He got real upset. He's like, yo, if you sick and you're coughing, you shouldn't be in public places. And he was making an announcement upset. Like, yo, if you're, you shouldn't be out and about if you're not feeling well. It shows that people don't care. Mm. So now you go into this church and you're like, you know what? If I get it, I die, whatever. To die is gain. I'm a Christian. Gang, gang. You ain't getting me, Satan. But you're killing you killing everybody on the process? Now you're killing everybody like, else. You, and you're you like, doing? well, I'm sick because of you. Hey, man, to die is gain. I don't believe in Jesus. My I don't bad. believe in Jesus. I don't even believe in Jesus. <laughs> I got a Jesus I don't piece. got a Jesus piece. <laughs> And I'm not making light of no, that situation. No, not at all. It but just came it's to my... Tr- Yo, but this is talking straight to this point of this pastor that's saying, 
Yo, let's welcome it. If we die, oh, or whatever. Let's take, let's take a it's listen to, to, his, to some of his ideology. Here we go. It's kind of irresponsible. And the only way we're going to destroy this virus is for, they say everybody's going to get it. Then if everybody's going to get it, then let's get on with life. Let's wow. get on with life. If everybody's going to get it, then let's get on with life. That's <laughs> like, crazy, just, dude, that's what we're trying to do. Get on with life, brother. Like, what, you, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. If man. everybody's going to get it, let's all get it and get on with life. Bro, if you're going to get it, you're going to get on. You got a possibility to die here, man. Like, yeah, there's no getting as a, on as with a life believer, here. I 100% agree with you. <laughs> if the Lord allows, you know, in his will for me to get it and I Yo, pass, J- J- God goes, forbid, I hope. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> <laughs> it, yo, that's up. like saying, like, looking in the Bible and seeing people getting bit by poisonous snakes and seeing them survive, and then you going out trying to prove a point and grabbing the poisonous snake. I'm going to buy a viper. You know I'm what I'm saying? Let like, it bite me. I'm just going to jump right into this pit no, of man. poisonous snakes and believe For in real. faith, and I'm good. <laughs> these are, uh, there's a lot of elderly people, you know, too, on You these, go in, in a lion's den and see if you could do what Daniel did, brother. Like, Wait, let me see. This is, uh, Mar- Speaking Dar- of lion's Mar- den. Mar- <laughs> how, how long... On lockdown, before oh, you weren't man. following about neglecting communi- communion, do you think? I mean, mm. I get it. I understand that it is tough. It's it's not a biblical mm, concept Josh. for us to be away from our brothers and sisters. Fire. But I, and now my question to you is: Okay, but where's the line of irresponsibility? I get the line you're talking about, but oh, where shouldn't get a snake. <laughs> Nah, brother, do not buy the poisonous snake, Not man. the poisonous one. Leave it alone, man. <laughs> Don't get a black mamba. No, but go ahead, Josh, because this that's a dope point, But Josh. that's a dope point, Don't, and he's right. Don't get off that. Go what ahead. is the line where now it's infringing mm. the communion with other believers? Yes. I get that. But at the same time, where's the line of irresponsibility where you're commu- when you're congregating and the law is telling you not to because you can possibly spread this disease and you do it anyway? Mm. where's the line of responsibility there's the other question there's the flip I side guess of it I, as of now at this point it's un it's not we have an and i'm, I'm not going to say unclear i'm not going to say unclear it is clear we have an objective right now to stop the spread of this virus yeah right? stop the spread so as of right now you know we just abide by the recommendations and and we trust in god and his sovereignty and who he placed over us who he mm-hmm. placed in position even if we don't agree completely it's not to say just follow blindly yeah it's just to be as smart as you can with the information that you have and then when it starts when when things start changing like when they start flipping up laws and stuff like that like i'm no expert in politics or anything like that that's when i would go to my brother josh or or brothers that have are more familiar with things like that and um like brent you know yeah josh brother shane you know that's why we need one another (laughs) like i i recognize my strengths and weaknesses so i'm not gonna speak like to influence in any any direction i'm just speaking off of what i know in my own personal convictions and i think right now we're just trying to stop the spread of the virus yeah, man. but at if the same were, time if you want to get out of your house then you got to follow the rules for at least that's why gill is here out. right now because we're just trying yeah, to stop man. the spread of the we're virus right now spread, you know what bro. i mean uh <laughs> follow the rules man i got some you know juice. what i'm saying that's why gill is here right now He's well, quarantining. Are you drinking sofrito juice? Quarantining with Mario Escolive, just trapped here. It, it, it started, the quarantine started on a Wednesday, so he just hasn't left. <laughs> he's like, he's trapped here doing Mario Escolive all the time. Bro. No, but real talk, like, okay, you know, respecting it, like even the churches are doing the online thing. Yep. You know, everybody's respecting it. I guess when it starts, again, when it starts going into violation of rights. Yeah. That's where you start. Okay, now the fight and That's begins. what I mean. If the law was silence the churches during this COVID-19 yeah, gotcha. because they're spreading uh, hate that, speech. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait a minute. How you know what button it is? This dude. Hit that zero. How do you know what button it is? <laughs> he was listening. You even, said it. Even Gil don't know the button. Oh, damn. Now I lost my point. That, no, come on, man. Don't lose it. Dang. You were saying that's your point because even if... Uh, People, rights, taking their rights. Oh, Come I'm on. saying like in regards to the staying home, like if it was a legit, like stay quiet during oh, this yeah. COVID-19. No preaching. No preaching <laughs> no, allowed. No Christ. No Christ speaking, or please. <laughs> Just stay home and shut up. Yeah. Hashtag stay home and shut yeah, up. Right, right. Then that's different. I heard people saying that about the market of beasts. What do you mean? I heard people beast? saying that the market of beasts 
that it's not going to be something that's done where we're not aware of what we're doing. In other words, you're not going to take some kind of thing that does another thing, like a medicine or whatever, and they're going to bait and switch you and trick you. That's not how it works. It's that you're mindful about the choice Mm -hmm. of taking the mark of the beast. It's not like, oh, they got me with it. Dude, that don't make no sense. Yeah. Because they can lock you it's, down. They're like, like yo, the ma- virus is going to be catch the, you. The, the, like, what the, is the this, chip? Tag? They're like, going to put the chip in yeah. you, and then you now get the chip you're in your done. Like, that don't make no sense. Like, what happens if 20 dudes <laughs> rush into your crib and put you to the ground and mark you? You're done. Ah! Oh, oh, they got me. Oh, I got the mark of the beast without my, you know, I'm done. But Hit him with the 666. Hit him. Yeah, they got this gun that shoots the mark of the beast. <laughs> Bam, got him. Like, what is this, laser tag? Like, nah, bro. And you know, all the Christians going to be like, oh my goodness. This ain't no laser tag. The gun that administers the, the chip market. is called the 666. <laughs> <laughs> and they're out there just hunting us in the dark, hitting us with the mark of the beast. That does, that's not how it works. Nah, so people who are tripping out over the bait and switch idea, like, nah, man, it's going to be a mindful yep. thing. It's going to be, as like, a matter of fact, if you want currency, if you want money, you're going to need to get this chip. And you are going to, you know, yeah. this is the currency of the world. If you want to buy something, you need this chip. Money exists. Don't exist. Credit cards don't exist. It's going to be something along those lines. Right. And you're going to be like, uh, right. uh, what do you mean? I have to get this thing implanted in me to live. Right. And I'm like, well, basically, that's what it is. World order. In order for you to do this, you must do this. What's up? But yeah. then people can say, in order for you to live, you need to take this vaccine that also includes. No, this but thing. it's a mindful worship, bro. Like it's a mi- like you know what you what this mark is doing. He said, "Y'all getting that COVID nineteen vaccine?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's lining up for the trials, man. Oh wait, Josh said, "Yeah, yep. things will get really, really bad." And, and some someone, people will. Someone will come along to solve yep. all the all world the problems, world problems. But facts. you got to worship him. People will gladly sign up. This virus has already proven it. People are already like, yeah. take my rights. We are scared. Right. It's true. So so this is going to be a true. clear thing, though. So it's, this is going to be like, this mark resembles that you are like a, a worshiper of this. Like, you, you're you clearly going to know. I Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? It's going to be obvious. And so it's not so much people that focus on the wrong thing. Like, don't get the mark of the beast. Like, yo, you're, 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 it's not so much that. It's that when you're faced with the, with the option to do it and you reject it, it's what comes after you reject it. Yep. It's not, it's not, don't be all scared of the bait and switch. Oh my goodness. No, it's, it's the, it's the, yep. when you reject it, what's going to mm-hmm. happen then? Yeah. You know, I hope and pray I don't live to see that day. Uh, another thing that they were talking about with the COVID-19 thing was uh, the whole, the whole communities of. I don't know if this is like bandwagon on the whole race thing, because now they're saying, you know. Well, the the rumor was is that black people can't get it. Like that's how it all started. Wait, first it started black people. Did, where did you hear this? First of all, well, <laughs> I, I, I was on, it was all over. Get like I heard people like, saying real it, yeah. news, like yeah, or like, fake news. Uh, it's according to Hester, blah 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 blah. It seems that African Americans are not being affected. It was spreading all over. Like people were saying, like, they up. can't get it. They can't get it. They can't get it. Then all of a sudden, the numbers went nuts. Mm. And in places where there's a lot of African Americans, they were getting sick. Right. And it was crazy. Like uh, I think one of them was Chicago, the- and they only have 26 percent of yeah, the population. Diligent. I don't know if you uh, 26%. if you heard about this, but. That's going around right now. Yo, 26% of, of, of the population is African-American, right. but 70%, 70% of them of are sick. Are African-American. Yep. No, th- and are sick. Are sick with it, yeah. It's crazy. Yep. So now, obviously, that's not true. <laughs> so now they're trying to figure out why all of a sudden African-Americans are getting hit it's not, hard. But it's not just African-American. It's, it's minorities. Yeah, they say minorities. You know, in, in, those, exactly. in those areas. And from, they're also trying to figure out if it's uh, associated with the commonality of uh, minorities having poor diets, poor neighborhoods, poor medical care. They don't have access. Like to, they don't have access to the yeah. same uh, uh, quality of care that other, you know, backgrounds have access to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So they're looking into all areas, but it's looking like it's the conditions also. It plays a huge factor. And it's kind of true because when you go to the hood, you don't really see a lot of hospitals. You see a lot of fast food. 
You see, you see a lot, a lot of liquor stores. <laughs> you see a lot of liquor stores store everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. see a lot of things that are not necessarily nutritionist. Mm. You know, not really nutritious for you and your body and your family and stuff like that. Yeah. Where you go to the richer neighborhoods and you see all these grocery stores, you see the Whole Foods, you see, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm, I think this stuff has some weight to what they're saying. Like, these neighborhoods don't have the same quality of care that other ones have. So it kind of makes sense that the it would go rampant mm. and start killing off masses, you know? They don't have the same stuff. Mm. It's kind of messed up. You know, and it kind of makes you think about history and the drugs and how that came into play, how they put them in minority neighborhoods. And, you know, it starts making you think like that. Is this some another thing that they just drop in this in these areas? Like, is it crowd nah, control? This ain't, this is ain't it like, you know that. what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's not that. I mean, we don't know for sure, if, even if it is, but no, nah, it ain't. It everybody, just makes you think in that direction, though. It's like all across the board, bro. It's just that, like you said, I think that you're right about that when it comes to. But then, uh, then again, you got to have personal responsibility as well. And I'm not saying nobody yeah. is, nobody ain't. I'm not saying that, but there are, and I'm speaking like, you know, personally, there are people who are like, you know. They, yo, they're still partying like this. For there's real. still people getting together. There's people, yo, there's they still they people said in doing Cancun, birthday parties. And, that people were still getting together and partying in Cancun yeah, in Florida. I'm like, yeah. these people are crazy, Totally man. just like ignoring the, like, <laughs> the recommendations. Man, and, and then there goes the whole, the, whole, uh, uh, drug, <laughs> the whole drug for malaria. Like people went nuts taking it and some people died. Liquor you know store right next to the MSG food store. Facts. They also saying it would be the MSG it could be, store. They're also saying it could be your blood type. And your diligent goes type O. <laughs> not not type zero. <laughs> well, when you say type O, brother, That's what I this really is mean. what I think. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, so they're saying it's the blood type. They're saying this. Yeah. They're saying that. They're saying a lot of things. Man, I see so many articles. They're saying drink. Uh, hot, yo, hot, it's hot it's liquids. ages sixty and up. Uh, drink hot liquids. It kills it. Drink, drink, don't don't take. Uh, ibuprofen. Uh, wear the mask. Don't I'm wear like, the mask. Wear gloves. Like, drink hot liquid. You mean don't like don't wear the gloves? Boiling water. You gonna die too if you drink boiling water? Yo, people are more likely uh, are more likely of color because of the health disparities that yeah. exist prior to the public health crisis. Facts. Yeah, and it's, shout out it, to it, Ron. A lot of these shout people out that to legendary were, legends. A lot of people that will cover. Yes, definitely. Shout out, man. You guys are doing amazing things. Uh. A lot of people have been talking about that too. That in these in these uh, neighborhoods, because they have such poor health care and such poor uh, uh, diets, because of what's available in that area, in those areas, they have diabetes. You know, uh, uh, you know all these di- uh, underlining issues in their health. Yeah. And then now they with the COVID nineteen, it just doesn't make the situation any better. Mm. You know, then they have nowhere to go once yep. they get the sickness. The hospitals that they have access to don't have the su- the sufficient respirators masks uh the, the so PE. what do you how do you do to fix what do you do to fix that uh i mean i think that because you know i think you the see, funds you see, in the cities you need see, to be um, re-looked at you, you see know? Com- you see companies investing yo a um, lot of companies invest in masks different types of stuff where is it going that's something i haven't researched on you know is it going to inner cities is it going to these you know poor neighborhoods that don't have access to this stuff you see know. um what, what the patriots came through flexing and uh, you see the patriots yeah Yep. They came Patriots through and invested. Uh, there's a, a lot of uh, actresses, uh, rappers, uh, organizations. Uh, who was it? Somebody I just heard on the radio that they gave a, a Twitter. Twitter gave a billion dollars to COVID-19 efforts. Mm. That's, to me, I think that's the highest I've heard. Right. A billion with a B. Mm. I've heard millions. I've heard a couple hundred thousand. Billions and billions. But a billion, bro? Twitter yes. rolling like that? Yeah, they to got be money, able to bro. just give a billion dollars? Like, here you go. They probably know. Economy's crashing. I'm out of here. <laughs> they just cash real, out. Man. That's Let's like, go. Yo, when I first heard Twitter <laughs> yeah. CEO, was like, oh, great. Here yeah. we go again. About Another to step CEO. Down. Somebody's stepping uh, down. Uh, uh, signing up for their rocket for Mars. Yeah. And, and no, it was like, no, Twitter CEO donates a billion dollars. I was like, oh. Oh wow, that's a big number. Yeah, you got to You do got to give it's props. A big to number. The, you do see a lot of people stepping up. Real talk, yo, for like, real. In the, I know a lot of people. Like some people run to conspiracy theories. Um, and I think there's a place for it because there is a lot of fake news as well. So yep. it's it's good to have an open mind and mm. and make sure that you do your 
your your due diligence and research and study and follow yeah. up. Um, but at the same time, um, I have no idea where I was going with that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wanted to go That's somewhere, a gem, but <laughs> how do I do the gem? It's the four, bro. The it's the four. That's a gem right there. But yeah, I had no idea where I was going in, with that. In tip. better news, in better, uh, we see that Wuhan has lifted their Crazy. the lockdown and they're ground zero. So that should be hope, y'all. That's hope. Wuhan is officially. So did like, they lift their, Did they lift their shutdown with just like, yo, we gotta keep these workers working? <laughs> like, are they are they lifting it because things are better, I don't or know. are they like, yo, we gotta keep this economy? All I know afloat. is the step in the right direction. Because everybody, something. everybody's learning. Everybody's trying to learn how to become essential nowadays. Like, I you, I, I, <laughs> all companies like, how do we become essential? You see like seriously. salons and barber shops, like people like, yo, haircuts are essential. He's like, we're essential because we make people pretty. <laughs> okay? Everybody trying to people be People need to feel pretty. The larger organizations don't have the reach or access to those demographics and populations. Those relationships are built off of trusts that are established by proximity to the problem. Mm. Boom, there's an expert in the building. Facts. Uh yo, real talk, we got to learn to take care of ourselves, man. Yeah, man. You know, real talk. We got to we it's not we can't be like sitting in you can't be like in a poor community and be like, "Oh, my poor community." Like, dude, leaders step up and figure out ways yo, to real. support one another and help each other. Sort of like a tribe. Dude. And there's like, different ways you look can support out for each other. Love your neighbor. Like, yo, shout out to my cousin. Um she she's doing masks. Like she's literally making them by hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's mask for all. She's creating masks. She's sending them to, like, all over. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's dope. Like, that's a way you can support. Learn how to make masks. Learn how to how to make face shields. Yo, learn how you to, know what I'm saying? Learn how to and hunt support your, your community like that. <laughs> learn, learn how to hunt. Learn that how was to, a good idea. Learn how to make Get your some own fishing food, poles. Like, <laughs> fishing yeah. poles might be a good idea. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, I, uh, Josh, you know, uh, who's in the comments right now, he bought some fishing poles. He, uh, that's a great idea. That's a way you can get some fish. Yeah. YouTube how to fillet them, them, them things, and 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 you got food. Yeah. Thanks. And I, I actually, you know, I don't remember the last time I had some fresh <laughs> Just, fish. Are you gonna? Are you about to go outside Man. of the backyard? Or <laughs> Yo, my uncle used to cut. You, he used to get like big mouth some bass, bacalao or something. <laughs> big mouth bass, bro. Cut them up, man. Season them up with that Spanish seasoning, bro. Dope, dope. Man, this is amazing. That's actually a really good idea. All right, y'all. Oh yeah, man. Be self sufficient. Don't let the government take all your 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 <laughs> will to live. Thanks. Man. Go on forth and get your own food. <laughs> Hey, listen, y'all. Same, it's man. been an hour and a half, man. We're about to get out of here, man. Gil got to head out. Um, it was a blessing to rock with y'all. Hopefully, you guys had yes, a blast man. and had fun. It was dope having BRM with us as well. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed all the music we played and some good laughs along the way. Um, and we're looking forward to next week, man. Yeah, man. Stay in touch with us. Check out and D2Lproductions.com. Also, due to everything that's happening right now, mm. I'm, we're probably going to be uh, street, uh, yeah. you know, going, doing that. I'm at my house and yeah, I'm yeah. chiming we're probably in type gonna be, thing. Yeah, yeah. Just because Moving we do forward. really want to Especially next the, week the for those. Um, uh, I think it's, is it for all of the United States? Next week yeah, is well, like yeah, they, peak. They, they're saying that this, this week is going to be the peak. Uh, in our areas of you know of all the areas that are this affected. week into next week, right? Yeah, that, that, I'm not sure how they got that the seven, number up until the seventeenth. Oh, the sixteenth next week is supposed to be the peak. So all you right. know, we want to be safe. You know what I'm saying? And and we try to you know, I try to make my appearance on the show as much as I possibly could. But at this point, you know, it is smart for us to practice the social distancing and and you know, so starting next week. You gonna see me on a little, a little, facts. little square in the corner. You know what facts, I'm facts. And we might not have safe. We might not have a special guest, but um, we'll rock. Yeah, we'll rock. We'll do our thing, and we're looking forward to building with y'all next week. Uh, check out the check out the uh, the website d2lproductions.com. Join the email list. We also have a Spotify playlist now. Yeah, so check that out as well. And uh, me live picks. Check it out. So next week, y'all, grace and peace. We love you. Peace. It is.
you're listening on the podcast, be sure to check out my Facebook music page, Mario Esco One. Again, two R's in my name, the number one at the end, Mario Esco One. Be sure to like and follow that page because I like to give updates on who I'll be interviewing and leave a description on what we'll be talking about. And I also like the real time one on one back and forth interaction. If you don't have the time to join us on Facebook Live, be sure to check out my podcast. It's called Mario Esco Live, two R's in my name. Again, you'll see the white silhouette of myself with the cross and a need be sure to subscribe to that and follow the link as well to whatever podcast you're using or wh- however you're receiving the podcast and leave us a review we love to hear feedback you can also hit me up at music at marioesco.com and just hit me up with some feedback in ways that we can improve the show or the things that you like and enjoy any type of feedback will be highly appreciated grace and peace